ceremony sweater that I got to wear in front of 60,000 people in Russia, and uh, it was definitely a very explosive, amazing uh, experience being able to represent our country in front of the world in uh, the spirit of sport that comes together uh, in peace. So that was really, really cool. Uh, and then after opening ceremonies, it was a lot of downtime. Uh, like seven, eight, nine days before I was like racing. And I kind of like had to figure out strategies to not like go stir crazy up in the mountain, the Olympic Village. It was like fully contained with everything that you could think of, like a hospital and dentists and physical therapists and everything that you could possibly think of. And uh, but a really cool thing happened. Uh, the night before my race, uh, first of all, the conditions were 10 times worse than the Olympics. It, most of the snow that you saw during the Olympics melted. Um, the only snow that was left that they were trying to preserve was on the runs. Everything else was like to the dirt, like, like flowers were blooming. It was like straight up spring there. It was, all, it was like an inside joke, like, oh, it's so good to be at the Winter Olympics in the summer. <laughs> Um, this and then the, of course the coastal village was like 75 degrees you could like work on your tan there while we're trying to prepare for snowboarding and uh, training was unreal we had to be up with the sun get all of our riding in by four like nine because it would turn up like turn into like slushy 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 snow like if you went to a sub 11 you got a slurpee and the slurpee was the consistency of the snow you would return it so um, <laughs> I, I was I was like unraveling. I'm like I have never snowboarded in snow like this before. Like I don't know if I can do this. Like like all my training, I think it's just like wasn't specific enough that I didn't know if I could do this. So, but the amazing thing is is about 6:30 the night before my run, me and my um, the race day, something came over me. An energy came to me, and when it arrived, it I was like, oh, it's here. Uh, the energy's here. I got, like, I'm gonna run with this. I'm like, I have this. I got this. And really, what it was was all the prayers and the blessings and the tools and the preparation that I got to do with all my loved ones, my friends, my family, my community, all of you that I get to see day to day in the fix um, around town, whatever it is. Like that support from my family really came to me and I felt like I was standing on the shoulders of giants. And I went to bed like so peaceful, had a full night's sleep, um, woke up the next morning like bright eyed bushy tail, like right out onto the deck while it was like still foggy, freezing cold, I was like doing breathing yoga, like listening to like, like reggae and like, oh, where's Liam? Man, right there! So, while doing yoga, listening to reggae, whipped up a Kokoko smoothie, and I was just feeling so good. I'm all like, let's bring this competition. I am so ready. So, <laughs> uh, and the amazing thing is, is everybody's down in the cafeteria eating the food that they're eating. And I'm all jazzed up on raw cacao. And, uh, I'm like, hey, how how you guys been sleeping? And they're like, oh, I didn't sleep at all. And I'm like, oh uh, yeah, I guess we do. <laughs> um, but yeah, that energy was with me, and uh, and I needed that kind of resiliency. I needed that energy. I needed 